Hello everybody, my name is Ruben Kings and welcome back to more Pokemon Black. Last episode we got our starter Pokemon and today we're going to check out how to catch a Pokemon with Professor Juniper. Ruben, it's this way! Alright, Bianca, let's see what we gotta do. Bianca says we're starting a journey together, she wants all of us to take our first step at the same time. Alright, hey Ruben, let's all take our first step on Route 1 together! Okay, here we go. One, two, a skittle a loop. Oh, okay. Oh, I wonder what will happen. Isn't this so exciting? I'm sure it is. Come on, the professor's waiting. All right, let's see what this is gonna say. Professor Juniper, I'm sorry to keep you waiting. Professor Juniper says, "No, that's here. Everyone's here. I'll explain." The Pokédex page is update automatically whenever you meet a Pokémon. <laughs> Moreover, it's said that uh. You obtain even more information when you catch a Pokemon. To make this clear, I'm going to demonstrate how to catch a Pokemon. Alright, we're going to see our first Pokemon battle in the wild. I wonder who's going to be... Ah, Patrat. I remember you. Alright, see, she has Mean Kino. Alright, so pretty much simple. You attack, and you throw a ball. Okay, pretty much self-explanatory. Yeah, he's not gonna let her attack, cause, you know, it didn't die. So, the tutorial pretty much s uh, tells itself, so. Here we go, Pokeball. One, two, three. Caught him. Too easy. Okay, we're speeding things up, and let's talk to the professor now. Alright, did you see that just now? Uh, here's how it goes, step by step. Oh, babe. Okay, so first, reduce the Pokemon's HP. Pokemon still have all of their energy or difficult to catch. If you can, use your Pokemon's move to make the Pokemon you want to catch fall asleep or paralyze it. And to wrap this up in the best way, I have a gift for you, Pokeballs. So now we can catch some Pokemon. Nice. Alright. Professor Juniper says, Pokeballs are used for catching Pokemon and for carrying the Pokemon you can catch. So, she pretty much wants us to catch some Pokemon. Now, I frankly, I am not going to catch any Pokemon right now. Uh, mainly because I already have a team planned out and none of the Pokemon I want are kind of in this area, I'm pretty sure. I don't think you can. So, uh, let's see who can catch the most Pokemon. Um, is a winner. Okay. Um, I really don't care about filling up the Pokemon pages because we are here to become champion. No. We're not here with this some bullshit, but hey, I will decide to grind El Jefe because he lost his first battle and he needs to gain some momentum and wow, that took forever to find a Pokemon, GG. Okay, so our first Pokemon is going to be a Pat Rat, and no, I'm not catching it, I'm just going to fight it. First of all, the Pokemon is a Pat Rat, I'm just going to tackle it, hopefully it dies. Alright, it learns tackle too, but that was a crit, that didn't do anything. Okay, and we're pretty much getting our first level up of the game. Hopefully, do we learn a move? Oh, you don't. Okay. Oh! Oh, okay. That was a something. Alright, more battling. Um, I'll probably cut this out, just so I can have a few levels out there. Uh, so I'll be right back. Alright guys, we learned Water Gun, so that's pretty neato. Um, so let's actually get out of here. That sucks because we can't run. Let's talk to this girl. Let's see if she has anything to say. Is your Pokemon's HP alright? Your Pokemon's HP decreases while you're on the road. It can be a big problem. So I'll give you this. She gives us a potion. This trainer's pretty much in every Pokemon game that I can think of. Uh, I don't remember her being in any other ones other than this. Let's check this. Wild Pokemon are hiding in tall grass. What does that mean for you? Do you want to battle? Or should you walk in tall grass? Um, I don't want to walk in tall grass, but hey, let's start walking towards the city over here. Let's read the sign. What does it gotta say? Route 1. Okay. <laughs> it's really basic. But okay. Is to... Uh... Let's see. Just use a potion, you know. There we go. Just because he needs some healing. And let's talk to Sharon. Ribbon, are you going to compare yourself with Bianca? Both Bianca and I have two Pokemon with us. Uh, I'm good. I don't want any. How about it, Ruben? Do you want to compare which one of us has the most Pokemon with him? Sure. I only caught one, I don't care. What, you only have Oshawott? You don't catch any Pokemon? Won't Oshawott get lonely? Yes, you will. 
Incidentally, if you check your Pokedex, you'll see how many Pokemon you've found and how many you've caught. I'm off to Akumula Town. The professor is waiting. Oh! We got the extra transceiver, so let's see how that goes. Alright. Hello, how's everybody doing? You and your Pokemon are getting along great now. Oh, Professor. Right now, I'm in front of Akumala's Town Pokemon Center. I'd like to show you around, so hurry on over, everyone. Oh, the Pokemon Center, alright. See you. Alright. Um, well, I'm going on ahead. Okay, I guess that's cool. Let's go on ahead, too. Akumala Town. Nice. Okay. Let's talk to you. Ah, Ruben, there you are. Traveling with your Pokemon is truly one of the joys of being a trainer. Please follow me. I'd like to show you the most important place for a trainer to know. Okay, here we have our Pokemon Center slash Pokemart. Blah, bitty, blah, blah, blah. This is a Pokemon Center. And don't feel as better as you when you start up to the front door? I mean, let's start your tour. And <laughs> that kind of rhymed. Oh, look, we have this bitch, too. Oh, wait for me. A Pokemon Center is a truly incredible place. Do you know why? Because your Pokemon can be healed. And what's more important, it's absolutely free. Yeah, because, you know, I honestly think this is something symbolic to the real life world where, you know, you can't have free medical care and all that stuff. Oh, I can't, you want me to heal? Oh, I kind of need to go to the bathroom. That's nice, Bianca. Okay, well, actually, I'm gonna buy some potions. How um, many Pokemon we have? We got five, I'm not gonna use any of them. So I'll buy, uh, actually I'll buy, uh, I'll buy four potions for now, because we're pretty good, and you know what, uh, I'll buy some Pokeballs, you know, I'll buy five. Alright, we're good to go. Okay, so let's go this way. Nope, I don't want to buy anything, thank you. Okay, you can leave me alone. Thank you, goodbye. Alright. Sounds like something's going on in the plaza. Well, let's have a little look-see. Okay, that's something. All right. Shroom, give me here for a second. Okay, you're gonna listen to Big Ball talk. <sighs> Who are these peeps? My name is Jetesis. I am here representing Team Plasma. Today, ladies and gentlemen, I would like to talk to you about your Pokemon Liberation, huh? What? I am sure most of you believe that we humans and Pokemon are partners, and that we have come to live together because of what we want and need each other. However, is that really the truth? Hmm. Have you ever considered that perhaps we humans only assume that this is the truth? Okay. Pokemon are subjected to the selfish commands of trainers. They get pushed around when they are our partners at work. Can anyone say with such confidence that there is no truth of what I'm saying? No way! Yikes! I don't know! Now, ladies and gentlemen, Pokemon are different from humans. They are living beings that contain unknown potential. They are living beings from whom we humans have much to learn. Tell me, what is our responsibility toward these wonderful beings called Pokemon? What could it be? Liberation? Okay, we're just listening to this guy talk. Huh. That's right, we must liberate the Pokemon. And then, we'll humans and Pokemon truly be equals. Everyone, I end my words here today, imploring you to consider the relationship between people and Pokemon and the correct way. We sincerely appreciate your attention. Tally ho. Goodbye, friend. Get out of here. Alright, so they're gone, and they're pretty much a Nazi regime, if you uh, think about it. Okay. So, yeah. Oh, oh, man, about that speech. Uh, what do you think we should do? Liberate Pokemon? I don't think that's possible. Eh, me neither, but hey, whatever. Oh, look who this guy is. Your Pokemon. Just now, it was saying. Slow down, you talk way too fast. <laughs> Me. And what's the this about Pokemon? Talking? That's an odd thing to say. Yes, they're talking. Oh, then, you two can't hear it either. How sad. My name is N. Ah, the big N. 
My name is Sharon. We were asked to complete the Pokedex and we have left our journey. My main goal is to become the champion, though. The Pokedex, eh? So you're going to confide many and many Pokemon. I am a trainer, too. But I can't help wondering. Are Pokemon really happy that way? Well, Ruben, is it? Let me hear your Pokemon's voice again. Oh! Oh! Okay, we got a battle! Okay. Um, I wasn't even talking. You know, he just looks at me and decides to try to kick my ass. But hey, we're Pokemon are the same level, so... You wanna go, buddy? Come on. Oh, I should've used Water Gun. There's a more powerful move. You know what? Tackle's probably gonna kick his ass, just watch. More, let me get him, I see Pokemon! Alright, so... This guy's gonna keep scratching at us, and... Hopefully, we can kick his ass real quickly. He says that uh, yellow. But now, well, no, we're still, we're still in green, so it's pretty good. And I'm gonna finish him off with a nice water gun. And watch him get a crit here. Alright, no, he didn't. Good. It should kill him. And he's done for. And you're a joke. Thanks. Woo, level up. Nice. Alright, we got some nice stats. Alright, I never expected to hear Pokemon say such things. <laughs> Bitch, fuck, cunt, cunt. Okay. As long as Pokemon can find the Pokeballs, Pokemon will never become the perfect beings. I have to change the world for Pokemon because they're my friends. Alright. Ah, strange guy. But I'm not going to worry about it. Trainers and Pokemon help each other out. Listen, I'm going on ahead. I want to battle the gym leader in the next town, Striton on City. And to battle the gym leader after gym leader. It's the best way for a trainer to become stronger is to challenge the gym leaders in such area. Ah, yeah, you're right. You're right. Okay, now we are pretty much free to do whatever we want, so uh, what should we do now? Let's heal up real quick and I'll decide what we're gonna do. Okay. Alright, let's get on our way, guys. So you're pretty sure the guy's gonna stop us? No? I give the benefit of my experience. You're listening? The number of Pokemon you can take with you at the time is six. Alright. Let's see what this hag has to say. Pokemon do everything in their power for people. People treat these Pokemon with love and affection. That's what I think our mutual relationship is. You're right, you're right. Okay, let's go this way. Mm-hmm. Ah. Striotoncity. Alright, we're in a route. Oh, we got a nice transceiver. Pookin. Pookin. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Hey, Mom. How are things? You and your Pokemon are getting along and enjoying your journey so far? I need to talk to you, so I called. I'm going to hang up the extruder now. Okay, I guess she was worried about us. Oh, she's right here. Ruben, I finally caught up with you, and look how far you've come already. Professor Juniper said that you were probably hit it from Striodon City. Oh, uh, another present for you. Try these on. What are those? That was pretty lame. <laughs> okay. When you're wearing the running shoes, you can get anywhere in a flash. Let me read you the instructions. Hold the B button to run faster. And you're running up shoes. Did these light up, Mom? Because I really want light up shoes. Come on. Come on, Mom. You know the running shoes have light up shoes. I don't know. So now that we can run, it's so much better. Alright. So I'm actually going to end the episode of here. Next time on Pokemon Black, we're going to try to head off to Stride On City. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.